All right, so we got snare. Not expecting anything, but if he plays Ragavan, we can kill it. Um, Gilda Goose. So playing food. So. Yeah. Um Um Yeah, I think we Because if he Asmos, maybe the Gilded Goose isn't like crazy. Yeah, he can create food tokens, but we're just gonna let it. Usually, I kill this thing. Maybe, maybe the whole thing is not to kill the thing. This food is kind of a bad. It's kind of a hard matchup. It's grindy, and we grind pretty well, but for some reason, this this deck is just immune to a lot of things. Asmo is just annoying. And Asmo can... For sacking two food tokens, you can do six damage to something. It's just... It's rough. Okay, we're gonna... We'll opt. We really need our third land. Uh, we can't cast it. That's the problem. So we'll go ahead and do this. Um, hmm. We're going to go ahead and blossom here. Good old bitter blossom. So, this is actually really good for us. So, I need another land. I need our fourth land. Food token. Oh, uh, yeah, we'll let it happen. Good old Fury. 
So we're gonna good old put that on the top of your deck. Sorry, not sorry. And yeah, put it on top. Then we'll swing for four. And then we. Okay. We need counter spell. Might use that. I can bounce the Utopians for all if I want. So, hmm. that's interesting. So, what I might do, I may end up bouncing the subtlety. And then what I can do is I can use Snare to put it back on top. I mean, we'll see. So. Hmm. Because I don't think Snare is going to be relevant this game. Because that, what that does, he, what it does, it keeps it off there. And it gives me another fairy to where I can actually kill this thing. Because one, two, three. So as long as as long as that can go through. Let's do this. So if he has Bolt, we're screwed. Um, Counterspell? Counterspell would be awesome here. As a backup. Okay. This will work. This is actually quite nice too. So if he does try to Bolt a Fairy... Or spell search sprite in general. I can at least bounce spell search sprite to my hand, and we can we can go that route. I can opt later if I don't have to do this, so we'll watch him we'll watch him Fury for the third turn in a row. Yep. So we're gonna Let's see if we can hard cast this. Oh yeah, is it happening? Oh it feels so good guys. It feels so good. I love it. That's why we play this card. Uh, assuming he doesn't have it, 
But is it greedy for me to put it back in my hand? When I could just do it, put it back in my hand to do that? Or do I just opt here? I'm going to be greedy. Be real greedy here. Oh yeah, he's like, oh, he's going to lock me down for the rest of the game. That's exactly what I'm going to do. All right, Aether Gust, yep. And then he's on food, so E is important. Snare is not good here. It's very... It's okay. Um, dress down is fine. Uh, yeah, we can go with this. I think this is where we want to be. I'll listen to that again because I haven't heard that song in a while. Okay, um, pretty good. So the E can either go on zero or one, depending on what. Well, they do play discard sometimes, so this on zero is probably the best. So we'll probably put the E on zero. They do play Force of Vigor. Yep, bird. Or goose. Oh, sprawl. All right. I could put it on one and the, the sprawl goes too. But really, it's getting rid of the Asmo. Um, and then he's most likely playing Urza Saga. So. Most likely. Doesn't necessarily have to be, but. The Urza Saga stuff, it just hurts after a while. Very annoying. All right, or since we have this, <clears throat> we're gonna go ahead and play this on zero. I'll just put it out there. So if it hits like a shattering spree or something, then it just happens. Ridden six, okay. We don't like that card because that card is OP. Makes it so he gets basically any card he wants. Or all his lands, basically. Just we'll just guarantee all our land drops for the rest of the game. Why not? And sure, I can put it back on the top, but. That signifies he's probably playing Leyline Binding like everyone else is. Because <laughs> it's best removal in the format by far. Sahili. Um, yeah, I think we. 
scry one deals one damage to me. Copy artifact or creature you can draw. Yeah, well. He's probably playing like. Let me guess. Veil Summer. My favorite card, guys. Veil Summer. It's coming out. Or he could be playing Flusterstorm. Sure. Whatever. Maybe Flusterstorm's fine. So. So, so Healy's still still dangerous because he can play the uh, that combo with it. I forget what it is, but it's similar to Splinter Twin combo. threat like more than this they like blossom so we're just in we're just kind of uh, figuring it out what he's trying to do and Search your library for up to three artifact cards with different names. Put them into the battlefield and shuffle your library. I don't know if he's actually playing anything like this. I don't know if he's playing any artifacts or not. But this run six is going to take over the game. So. And I might have to just... Make him put this on top of his library. But I don't want to like... I would like to spell Spellstar Sprite this thing when it comes back down. Um, go and get a fresh draw here. Get an island. Okay. Because I definitely can't let this guy... I can't let him hit 7 on that. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll let it go. So we'll probably guessed it and then he might even have another Ren Six in his hand. To where he'll just put that on the bottom, which is okay. But then the, then I have to worry about this Healy.
Oh, okay. Yeah, Kira. Yeah. What does that do? Oh, it just gets a f food token. Sure. Yep. Kira. Alright. And then we'll we'll go ahead and Aether guess this. We need to kinda Well, I could spell search sprite here too, and then swing, keep them barely off, but he'll just nag it. Okay, we'll get rid of this. The Sahili alt is a problem too. Yeah, he put it on the bottom. Which I was kind of afraid of in a way. So. Where's my edicts? Okay. And then we'll just be able to edict and keep the Sahili from alting. Not sure exactly if they are playing kind of this or if they're just playing for the combo. So we'll we'll find out though. See what they're doing. Okay, Omnath, obviously we So they're playing like a Elementals with friends, kind of thing. Okay, again, we're gonna spell Soda Sprite at the end of the turn, keep the CLE at six, and then we're gonna need. Yeah, we just can't let him, like, start drawing cards. Like, he already has five cards, he's been through six more cards than us. There it is. Finally. I'm glad that on our sixth turn, we can finally draw a card that we have four of in our deck. It's so nice. All right, cool. And then if he gets asthma, we can take care of it with we get push and we got EE. -E. Um, so really need. Hmm, what do we need? Subtlety is nice. The threat with a little bit of tempo. Um, but he, as long as he doesn't get like an Omnath here. But even if he does, it's not the end of the world for Omnath. We can kill it. And then we'll we'll just fetch for a swamp. But he might not have threat. Or he might like that's a problem. Okay. So I need a Snapcaster Mage. Why would he do that? Okay, whatever. Let's play Asmo. No. Well, I can't, can't instantly kill this thing, so he's going to have another, 
Another food token. Maybe he's not playing Asma. Maybe he's just playing like a Sahili. Like a Sahili Elementals and Friends kind of thing. Seems like that. Because it seems kind of dumb. He must have. He must have something to kill this. So. Uh, edict. He's probably asking too much. So. Alright. Um, just go ahead and try to attack the T3. No reason not to. Gonna be real surprised. And then the EE does it just go back on zero? Am I holding him off a lot of things, or am I not? Yeah, we can we can just throw it down for zero again. He obviously, I mean, he obviously bounced it, so he didn't like it there. So is he just gonna pop the food token, thinking I'm gonna? Sure. Okay. Not too worried about his food tokens, for now, anyway. I mean, if he goes in here with that mechanic or whatever, the mechanism, that makes him, like... It's like a three for one. Every time he makes a food token, he makes, like, three. Or a treasure token, he makes, like, three. That can get out of hand, so... In that case... Yeah, this is... This is what I thought. Okay. Um, I'm just going to kill this thing now with this thing on the stack, which might not be the best, but we're also going to grab, grab this before, before we can see any kind of shenanigans. This is what I was talking about. The, uh, Feldar Guardian is kind of like, um. Wow, look at that. One, two, three, four. He can actually play it, but he can't do anything past that. I'm actually gonna... Go ahead and balance that. He can replay it. So... He will be able to replay this. But it's gone. So, And he's going to make another token here as well. I think this might be a good time to kill these tokens. If he replays the Falder Guardian, it's going to come down. It's going to proc again. Um, I then can kill these three. What's making it uncounterable? Oh, yeah, the Veil Summer. The, the perfectly fair magic card. <laughs> uh, hate that card. I hate that card that exists. It's a scored. Yeah, I think I think this is a good time to blow this up. Actually, he might have Asmo though, because enters the battlefield. You exile a permanent control. Maybe not. 
Yeah, we won't. We'll we'll sit here, but he can gain a bunch of life. I just don't want Asmo coming down. That's the problem, and this is keeping Asmo away. So I think I think that's where we want to be. We'll we'll keep it here as a threat. All right. Um, cool. No more Veil of Summer, dude. All right, cool. In turn, we'll brazen borrower. Hopefully, he doesn't have a bolt. And then we can start hitting him. He can heal through a lot of it, though. So he will have. Mm, this could be gross. Portal. Uh, sure. So do we... I still draw. This isn't the other portal. Okay. So he still dies. I can do this, and then it's probably good to pop these so he can't gain life. But he'll just grab the spell center sprite. So we'll... Okay. Because if we don't if we don't pop here if I, well is it a graveyard? Put a graveyard into the battlefield. So he's gonna put Omnoth. So we have to pop He's, he's going to gain life no matter what. He's going to gain life. I'm surprised he's doing this now. Because what would he grab? He's either going to grab the Kira, the Omnath. I would grab Omnath, but that's me. But I need I need to put Revolt up. But, I mean, he could grab Spell Server Sprite for the block here. Um... Yeah, so he has Spell Surf Sprite in my graveyard to stop this, which is fine. Okay, so he's going to grab Omnoth. Yeah. So I'm really surprised he fetched before this thing came in. Not that he needs the mana. Well, 
I mean, it's going to die. So I can just use the trigger off this and I don't have to use this. So. Oh, boy. So I need Aether Gust. I need Snapcaster Mage. Um... This portal is... I need a Brazen Borrower to... But... That ain't gonna happen. Like, come on, man. I swear, every single person runs four of those in their deck. It's just insane how much I see it. I see it literally every game, almost. <laughs> Three Veil Summers. Three. Three Veil Summers. Three. This is what I have to deal with. Three <laughs> Veil Summers. <sighs> Shoot. Okay, we're just going to take their graveyard away completely. We're going to go ahead and take Drown now. Um... <laughs> It's redonkulous. That's what that is. Very redonkulous. Um, we'll take Sprite out. And then we'll keep everything else. Um, the push is okay. If he's playing Asmo, he might not be playing Asmo. But he is playing the food token stuff. So I think we take... We can take two out. So, V click is like. Mm, here, we'll just do that. I think we can get here. And I actually could take the Ego and take Furies out or Omnoth and really kind of set them back, but we won't. We're going to go with this. Hopefully, we hit some graveyard hate so we can't use the stupid Phyrexia portal. It, the game shouldn't go that long anyway. Um. He shouldn't be able to do that. We just stalled out. We, I had to deal with the Ren 6. I had to deal with... Oh my goodness. That's a bad hand. That's not very good at all. This is better. Um, and this is a lot better. Actually. So we'll keep... We will toss back the dress down. You know, I do like the dress down, but we'll throw it back. We'll... Yeah, we'll do that. I don't know if they're playing Blood Moon or not. It seems pretty bad for them to be playing Blood Moon. But we'll go ahead and do this. And then let's see where we can go. Let's see how many Veil of Summers he draws this time. <laughs> you know, I a couple days ago I was playing, and the guy he he drew in his in the first six turns of the game, he drew two Veil of Summer and a Flusterstorm, and it just it wrecked my world. And you, you can't win against that 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 much hate. You just can't you can't overcome it. And it really sucks. And it hurts. So, because you just you just know that there's no there's no coming back from it. Nope. This we're gonna put blossom down. Yep. Magic God says play blossom. So, 
hopefully keeping this land and tucking the uh, dress downs are very good to stall for a turn so you can come back and kind of make a a calculated decision on how to pursue the rest of the game and sometimes it works out really really well and gives you that extra card um, to make your mind up so I know they don't play a lot of two drops if at all so we do have we do have the luxury of, by going first in this matchup we have the luxury of establishing a board which we normally don't get that luxury so um, if we get a black source here, we can we can do so. We can wait a turn. Dark slick would be nice. Okay, that that works too. Um, we're actually gonna wait to play the dull theme until next turn. So we do need a black source here. So I'll be. Hopefully we don't have to counterspell something, but we probably will. Assuming that a uh, oh, that one elemental that draws cards and put lands it away, and it's a one-one, and you hate touching it because it's just a one-one, but it just sits there. And if you take care of it, then. Now, we don't have a choice here. You you have to respect this card. It will shut you down. But this is the only this card right here is the only reason blue white control is a a problem. Not even a problem. Why even it exists right now in modern? There's no other reason for it to exist. So we're gonna grab a grave because we want to be able to counterspell and play double black at the same time. Might just play double blossom. Depending on what we draw here. Just go but really want counterspell. Really want interaction. That works too. Alright. Well We'll play land. We'll attack. Well, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna tap out for sure. Um, play double blossom, Dolphy. Hopefully, it gets us there. Definitely not guaranteed to get us there, though. Go ahead and. Just if he has some kind of... He's playing a bunch of permission. So us playing a bunch of threats really is counter counterintuitive to his game plan at this point. So... That is one downside of him playing uh, Veil Summer. So is... It doesn't stop creatures, you know. It is a cantrip. And it screws up non-creature cards, but, you know. Now he has to play something manageable. And he has double he has double green, so he can't play Omnoth. So that's really good here. But he can't play a plethora of other things. What in the... is that? The controller of target artifacts sacrifices it, then reveals cards from the top of their library until they reveal an artifact card. That player puts that card into the battlefield. What? This exists? So the only artifact he's playing is the Phyrexian one, right? The player puts that card into the battlefield. Yeah, I guarantee it. It's that. He's only... Okay. Okay. And he'll get a Dolphy of his own. 
th that's what's going to happen here. Yeah. So that's the everything he does in his deck. Maybe I should play that. It actually, it wouldn't be hard. You just play the one. That seems like, that seems so cheap though. And you gotta get an artifact, but you could play... Hmm. Okay. Hmm. So we do five. We still probably win here. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna remember this. Shape anew. Shape anew. So now he can play Omnath. Or he can also play. Can he hard cast Fury? Because if he hard cast Fury here, we pretty much lose. Yeah, sure, we can do that. But it's so cheap. I didn't even know this card existed. Actually, it never gets played. So, but I mean, to play this, I wonder how many copies he's playing. So the only thing he has to do is get an artifact. It could be a creature, it could be anything. The Seiju. Why is he doing that? Yes. He should be... Yeah, I guess the blocker is part of it. Okay. We're going to run out of time. I don't think we can win this. Um, and actually making two tokens... I don't know. That race is kind of hard to see. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we can bounce, play. I think that's best for us, actually. So go here. I could also bounce this, but it's not doing anything right now. Yeah, we'll play this. Maybe we win? That's a really good draw from us. But he has no... The problem is, is he's basing everything off me having creatures in my library. We don't play that many creatures. So... Yeah. So next turn we hit for six. I can hit for nine. Actually, I can hit for lethal next turn if I want. We'll do that. We'll just... I'm going to play the Borrower, we'll animate the Tar Pit, and now we can't hit for lethal. So he, so there goes four. Maybe I shouldn't even play the Dolphy at all, um, but... Yeah, MTGO is going super slow. So we. <sighs> Can't even tap lands because it's using so much of my CPU. It's insane how much this thing is. So then we. Assuming he does not do that, he'll get a Dolphy. So, let's see what we get here. Man, I'm just sitting here and chilling. 
we can win this game, but we can all be, we can lose this game too. I'm. It's froze. So. We can win this game. So what do we... Yeah, it's not going to show us what we draw. We can win this game. So... Because he's going to grab... Per, he, well, he's going to grab the Fury. That's the problem. And that's why I thought about... If I bounce the portal instead of... Instead of the Dolphy, he doesn't get to play it again. So, but I don't get the Dolphy again either. So, this is like a, it's a damned if I do, damned if I don't kind of moment. Hmm. I, it, it really, in reality, the problem is just elementals in general. Elementals just won that Prague tournament today. With a thousand fifty players, and it got number one. Um, so that's telling you there were seven copies that showed up to the tournament period, and it won the tournament. Same list, I'm pretty sure is that. Maybe not the portal part of it. Um, the the anew is different. It's also quite cheap. So I wonder. I need to look see if uh, 